What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Professor Anime and welcome back to yet again another Black Clover episode review. Today we will be talking about episode 5 of Black Clover. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, so when it comes to this episode of Black Clover, this was a very simple episode as far as what it provided for us. It was pretty much just an episode showing that Asta and you know finally join one of the squads that was overseeing the whole exam. So, as we know, they come to this Magical Knights exam to partake in an event in which they can show their magical abilities and also physical abilities to see if any of the, you know, most well-known squads of the Magic Knights, you know, would like to take them under their wing and therefore join their guild, so to speak. Yuno you know, ends up joining the Golden Dawn, and Asta ends up joining the Black Bulls. Now, as far as how everything played out, it was pretty much what I expected as far as who was going to pick Yuno. Know. I mean, everyone pretty much raised their hand, and honestly, that did not surprise me. I mean, I kind of thought that in my head that, hey, you know what, most likely everyone's going to raise their hand, and lo and behold, everyone did for Yuno. Know. And then, of course, we follow the other cliche into which we see Asta you know no hands are raised whatsoever however he ends up passing by you know the skin of his teeth whatsoever or however you want to you know describe that metaphor now the thing that i'm curious about when it comes down to the squads is that is the group that asta joined the worst of you know pretty much all the squads out there i mean it is pretty much said by um the big brawny dude that the Black Bulls is pretty much the worst, or the absolute worst squad in all of the Magic Knights. Like, is that is that true? Because we added to where in, you know, following the ending of this episode, the individual that Asta went up against during the fight in this exam, he ends up wanting to get revenge on Asta, you know, for, you know, defeating him and humiliating him in combat, blah, 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 blah. And we have it to where, you know, he says that Asta reduced him to, while he still got picked for the exam, he got re reduced to one of the most weak weakest known squads which is like the praying the green praying mantis or what have you so he thinks as though he is reduced to you know the size of a bug you know necessarily so I'm, I'm curious as far as you know how I guess the strength cap goes with the squads like how exactly are they ranked is the black dog simply the worst of all the squads out there or is it simply the nature of the black or the black dogs i said the black dogs against the black bulls is it simply the nature of the black bulls that makes them the worst in terms of like how they go about operating things because what they did to asta for you know a greeting into their base was kind of messed up I don't know, I'm sure manga readers will let me know in the comments. But yeah, I mean, that's really about it when it comes down to this episode of Black Clover. There's really not a whole much to talk about here that happened within the episode. It was pretty much just showing Asta and Yuno finally being able to join a squad, and now it seems as though they're both going to go their separate ways. And it will be cool to, you know, learn a little bit more about the Black uh, Bulls in the following episodes because, you know, obviously this series is going to focus more on Asta than Yuno, but it's also very interesting interesting on how you know is going to go about his journey in terms of what he is going to be doing with the Golden Dawn. Alright, so yeah, I mean, that pretty much does it for my review of Episode 5 of Black Clover. It's going to be quite interesting to see on how the story is going to develop now that Yuno and Asta are kind of, you know, separating their paths. And it really brings up the question as when we will see Yuno again in the series. So, yeah. Uh, as far as this episode goes of Black Clover, it was a very simple and very straightforward episode. It was it, it, it was enjoyable to watch. It was enjoyable to watch, and I'm curious on how the other episodes are going to play from here on out. So it finally seems as though Black Clover is finally getting back on track. It took a while for it to actually, you know, go full throttle and get back on track and things, but, I mean, some series do that. So let's just hope that the remaining... You know, episodes of Black Clover will be at least decent enough to, you know, have an enjoyable watch, kind of like how episode 4 and 5 were, because I, I want to see the story progress in this manner and not 
some of the stuff that has been thrown out there just for the sake of giving more characterization. Let's let's see more characterization later on in the series. Let's first learn to care about the characters and then throw me more characterization and flashbacks and whatnot to make that character grow. First, let's focus on the present character before we focus on the past. So, yeah, because at this moment, in terms of like caring about the main character, I don't give a shit about Asta. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that said, that about does it for this one. See you all in my next video. Peace out.